All right, so we're at lunch uh, break right now, and I found another member of the cast. They're hiding all over the place, but I found one, and this is Marty. Hello. There's Marty. I only really have sandwich in my teeth. <laughs> no, you don't. You look great. You look wonderful. Um, okay, so uh, Marty's doing a little bit of reading. What are you What are you reading right now? I'm reading um, Cousin Bet. Oh. By Henri de Balzac. Yeah, actually, uh, a company I work with in North Hollywood is doing a production of uh, Cousin Bet right now. Uh, really? uh, uh, Jeffrey Hatcher uh, did an adaptation. Uh, yeah. Actually, I'm I'm reading this because um, there's a local actor playwright in town mm -hmm. who's doing his own adaptation of it. Oh, and fantastic! He's me to do a reading. So I didn't know Jeffrey Hatcher did one. Yeah. Uh, it's like three hours, three and a half hours, or something, or maybe even four hours. So it's very long. Oh, I I know. It looks like these. I'm surprised it's not like a six-hour miniseries. Yeah, it it probably should have been. Yeah. Um, so, um, Marty, how long have you been in Seattle? I've, do you want me to look at you or look at whatever <laughs> whatever you're more comfortable with? I I'll, look I'll at just, you. I'm just going to move around. You know, we'll do a little creative like kind of photography. Um, you can just talk to me. I was. Did I tell you this already? I don't know. Um, I'm I'm actually a California girl. I don't I think was I don't know. Born could... in San Diego. Oh, okay. And then my dad was in the Navy, so we moved from San Diego to mm -hmm. Island, New York. Oh. And then we got transferred out here when I was. Um, in third grade, I think. Uh huh. So I pretty much grew up here. Gotcha. Um, so I, I think that kind of makes me a native. And then I got married and moved back to New York, but then and spent about almost five years there, and then moved back here. Oh, so okay. kind of like back and forth. But you know, pretty much a native. Very cool. Now, um, what uh, what do you what do you do when you're not uh, acting here at the Intamon? What uh, what are some other interesting you things? Know what I did yesterday. What was that? It was so nice because I I came in from. What was it 10 to 11? And then okay. I didn't have to come back till 3:30. Okay. I went home and walked my dog. <laughs> I'm sure he. She, she was thrilled. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. She was so excited to see me because <laughs> the poor thing she was by herself all day. So yeah. So I walked my dog in the rain. Um, oh, very nice. And the other thing I do is I, before I was an actor, I was an accountant. Uh huh. Um, a CPA. So I also my other job is I'm a I keep the books for essential foods at home. So I work oh, at home. Oh, wow. Which is really nice because if I um, like get home from a show and I can't go to sleep, I just I just work. So now uh, essential foods this is a company this is a local company or yeah. very cool. Very, very cool. Wrap sandwiches and I'll bring some stuff into Riversill. Outstanding. The best hummus I've ever had. Really? Yeah. Ooh, it's this is tempting. But it's nice uh, to work at home. You know, oh, my yeah. pajamas at two in the morning if I want to. Sure. Uh, now, you know, acting work doesn't come yeah. consistently. <laughs> so it's nice to have some else. Now, before, uh, before you started reading uh, Cousin Bet and before you you doing this play, what was like the last uh, kind of creative artistic thing you were working on? Um, you know, funny you should mention this. Oh, really? We, we talked about writing last night. Yes, and how yes, terrified we did. I am of that. Yes. Um, I have two very good friends that for the past, um, Mia and Karen, mm -hmm. for the past, I don't know, like two months, we meet and have lunch every Friday, and Mia, she's the one person that I shared some of my writing with. Uh huh. Um, so just working on, I've got like a one person thing I'm working on this little project. Um, I've got this four, no, actually it's an eight character play that I tried writing before and I'm picking at it. So Mia's helping me with that and it's like she's giving me deadlines and she's the, the friend that calls up and says, you know, you gotta have something to show me next week. And she even got after me when I told her I was doing this show because she said that that can't stop you from <laughs> She's your, uh, she's your taskmaster. Yeah. Keeps you on tar target, that's great. Karen and I want to um, put together a cabaret. So oh, fantastic. It's sort of like the, the two, it, it's nice to have, you know, friends that push you. And yes. Karen checks in, in with me every Thursday to see, am I writing, how everything's going. So I oh, guess cool. that's like the last creative thing. Yeah, most recent thing. Yeah. So now, have you uh, ever worked at the Intamon before? I uh, did All the King's Men. So actually, two years ago, year so, ago. so you know Leo Marks. I do know, do you know Leo? Yeah, Leo's a good friend <gasps> of mine. He was so fabulous in that show. <laughs> Oh, oh my, my God, he, he was fabulous oh, in that good. show. Oh, good. I will, I will, I will send him the link to this video. He will love it. <laughs> um, and so nice. 
nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he's a sweetheart. So, uh, so. You know Leo? Have you guys worked uh, together? Um, I, I, we've never done anything on stage, but uh, I helped stage manage a production of Betrayal he did um, in L.A. Oh. And uh, we've known each other, uh, mutual friends, for a few years now. So, yeah. one of my favorite people. So you've worked, you have worked at the Intamon. Uh, you've been in Seattle for a while, but uh, you've, have you ever done this play, Paradise Lost? Or no, never okay. done Okay, all right. So with doing this big revival and you get to come back and work at the Intamon, how excited were you when you found out I was in the cast? <laughs> I was thrilled. Yeah, I, I, uh, <laughs> I was. <laughs> but, you know, honestly, because I, I love meeting new people. Yeah. And it's... And this is so sincere and honest. I I love working with new people and even people from like out of town because mm -hmm. you you pick up things. Yeah. So to me, it's all about learning. Yep. I mean, as long as I can keep learning things, which I I seem to be doing, um, I'm in heaven. So, cool. Yeah, I'm excited in your show. You're in the show. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Marty. Uh, I'll let you get back to your lunch, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.